Natasha Sacos es muy difícil de presentarla. Es única, es excepcional, viene de Suiza, de Grecia. Realmente Natasha, como lo verán ahorita, viene de la luna. A gozar a Natasha, bienvenida. Ciudadanos de las Ideas, hola. Es un gran placer y honor de ser acá con ustedes de nuevo. How is everybody doing? <laughs> Great. Because today I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate our potential, our connections, and our diversity. Do you remember what you wanted to do when you were a kid? Did you want to be president or fly or be a superhero? Did you? <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, a detective, and a ballerina. Of course, all of them at the same time. So while there's a little bit of truth in all of these, I'm still searching for that one word that defines what I do. I find titles either too vague or too defined, leaving no room for real exploration. We've become multimedia and transdisciplinary. It's time to rethink what we do and reinvent who we are. Believe it or not, the day I signed onto Twitter is the day I came up with a description. I like to invent possibilities through theatrical experiences. I love theater. And the first thing we learn in theater is suspend your disbelief. Suspend your disbelief. Because both audience and actors agree to believe for a short moment in time in the given set of circumstances. ordinary as they may be. As actors, we constantly di assume different personalities. We become other people. We forget ourselves to accept a sometimes completely different point of view, going through the entire spectrum of human emotions as these characters. And we now know that mere neurons in our brain blur the line between the experienced and the observed. The power of believing in something so much is actually as real as living it. Believing is everything. I started working in nightclubs as a performance artist while in college, writing plays anytime I could and producing them. Then was commissioned to create a show which became a five-year journey called Upwake. I started by myself, ended up with 19 collaborating artists, went from one movie screen to CGI projected on all the four surfaces of the stage, synchronized to my actions, without words, using universal languages, motion, visuals, music, both pop and classical. Then my character Zero came to life and launched a green campaign. A team of animators and I just recently produced a commercial asking Starbucks to recycle and encourage customers like you and I to bring our reusable bucks back the next time we go. Why? because it's important. Lately, I've been experimenting with two engineers using markerless motion capture technology, the future of human-computer interaction, finally combining the physical world with the virtual one. Through a natural interface using gestures, one can trigger anything out of thin air, in this instance, sound. I ride a bicycle. I've never owned a television in my life. Simply put, I am human and believe anything is possible. 
If you follow your heart, trust your instinct, free your genius, be audacious, don't listen to what other people say, and use your talent to better this planet we all share through whatever medium may be, you are my example of human success. Because we are all artists. You may not dance or act or paint, but you cook, you decorate, you host. There is an art in everything you do. It's discipline, curiosity, challenge, the quest for beauty, balance, and truth. It's a constant interpretation of the world around us through our individual eyes. Last year, I met a remarkable woman. Her name is Henrika Menes with EcoWorks International. She has 20 years of experience in the humanitarian and international aid, directing projects in healthcare, social services, and education. When the earthquake happened early this year in Haiti, I immediately called her. Before you knew it, we were there, six of us, performing anywhere we could, from camps to schools to orphanages to hospitals. to make things happen. It's as simple as doing it. And the beauty of it is, it can be great fun. So, we've heard it yesterday a lot. Nobody can predict what will happen in five, ten years from now. But we know that students will have 14 jobs by the age of 38, that an average worker will spend 10 years of his life emailing, that by 2013 there will be computers that exceed the performance of the human brain. that exceed the performance of the human brain. 
it may be so. Because we've been acting as simplified computers, programmed to do one, two, three things, multitasking senselessly, abbreviating emotions, fast-fooding transactions, relinquishing our memories to the clouds, losing meaning. Fat is cool, cool is hot, hot is fat. I'm confused. Trading our two million words for 140 characters? Come on, we are more than our twits. So things are changing and shifting at exponential speeds we can't even comprehend. And it can be both exciting and scary. I think it's exciting because a computer can't dream. A computer can't imagine dancing on a light beam. A program is not original, but its programmer is. And unpredictable, we are mysterious, intuitive, intelligent, expressive, physical beings. In this technological race, let's not forget our humanity. Let's not forget our stories. Let's not forget the 90% free space of our internal hard drive. If there will be a supercomputer in three years from now, I want to be a superhuman. Don't you? Don't you? Yes. yes, so let's be superhumans. By sinking our talents, we can better intuit a new intelligence. By concentrating our energies, by truly converging and fusing disciplines, we will big bang ourselves into a new universe. We can become modern da Vinci's. Let's challenge our multitasking skills, harness our ADDs, spark our thousand trillion synapses into a connective, cross-collaborative, transcending extraordinarium and create positive change on this planet with either the hyper-sophisticated tools we have or the mobile device we are. Let's cultivate our many facets, our left and right, and the infinite spatial directions of our own axis. Let's be schizophrenics, damn it. By the way, did you know that brain scans reveal striking similarities in the thought pathways of highly creative people and schizophrenics? Well, apparently, schizophrenics and creative people have fewer D2 receptors in the thalamus, which means a lower degree of signal filtering, thus a higher flow of information. Psychologist Dr. Gary Fitzgibbon says, the ability to suspend your disbelief is one way of looking at creativity, because when you suspend your disbelief, you are prepared to believe anything. Let's believe anything. Science is no longer fiction, but reality may become one. Before we augment it, before we decide to live eternally, before we display all of our transparencies, before we domesticate ourselves completely, maybe, just maybe, we should think, indeed, of making time and finding ourselves Discovering our passions, yes. Did you know that it would take over 600 years to watch all the content on YouTube? That 90% of the 200 billion emails sent daily are spam? And did you know that it takes one lump of coal to move one megabyte of information across the net? So, guess what I really want to do when I grow up? I want to be an astro performer, the next generation of artists performing in outer space. Last year, I participated in the DC-9 Lunar Parabolic Flight Study at NASA, as researchers were measuring my cardiovascular performance while in both zero-gravity and 0.6-gravity environments. Because the future we once imagined is the reality we live now. And because in this reality, in this future, I think arts and culture better be at the forefront of this new frontier.
When mathematics unfold through origamis, when video games target medicine and education, when we defy gravity, when physics dance and dance clubs play Einstein, when we stop playing war, when TV starts saying something, when we produce without wasting, when engineering meets humanity's primary needs, when all of these are not just casualties, but a standard we all live up to, then we'll know, I'll know, I really live in the 21st century. Let's celebrate our potential, our connections, and our diversity. Let's rise up, stand up, and think tall so we may gain altitude, vision, perspective, see beyond, and maybe elevate and be elevated. Thank you. Thank you.